Hey, do you notice any similarities between this new Get Mecked event and the original Forgotten Castle event, by the way? Noticing anything similar? The dragons? No. The map? Uh, I guess. And um, the tile costs? Uh, I guess. Ah, <sighs> game loft. Why? I didn't notice it immediately or didn't want to assume as soon as we started up with this new event today. But they've actually hit an all-time low with how they've decided to do this new event. Because you know how we had those limited elements that we could use and I was complaining that, you know, it was too difficult because it was, you know, for a lot of people that's basically shutting them out of the event, RNG based, you know, all of that is annoying enough in itself. But then, you know, you take a look at level one in this event and you take a look at the original castle event and then you realize, hey, this is the exact same map, isn't it? The same tile costs, the same elements on the battles, everything. This map is exactly the same as the original Forgotten Castle event. It's literally a copy of an event that we had two years ago. Why? So this video here was my video on the original first ever castle event that was released, you know, the Forgotten Castle event. So this was like episode 182 in May of 2016. So this was from quite a while ago. But the issue with this event was it was so difficult to complete that barely anyone did it. And if you're noticing anything in particular, so we've got the exact same layout on this level as with the new event. Literally exactly the same level one. So you can see the right hand path is 21 dice, the bottom path is 40, the left hand side is 46 with a battle straight after it, the top one is 60. Are you noticing anything similar here? I mean, as far as I can tell, this is just the exact same event on the exact same map, just with different dragons. Because it works just the same, you know, we had the card piece dragon, we had the castle dragon, we had the tier 3 reward dragon. So, it's literally just the exact same thing as the original castle event. So why was there such a lack of effort put into this event? Not even a redo on the price costings of the levels? Not even a redo on the element restrictions for the levels? It seems like the most hashed together, like, least amount of effort I have ever seen for an event like this before. It's unreal. Why have we been given the exact same event as we've already had before. The castle events are already too repetitive as they are at the moment, and now we have literally the same event. Really? Like, I think the main thing that I'm annoyed about here is just the absolute lack of effort that they've shown with giving us this event. Like, they could have changed the tile costs, they could have changed around the required elements for the levels, but they haven't. They've literally just copy and pasted the exact old map in its entirety and just given it to us again. What is even the point? I've already done this event before. I got the castle dragon out of it. I don't want to do the exact same horrendous event as last time all over again. And a lot of people said, yeah, well, the reason that people didn't finish it is because it was the original event, so they didn't know how to finish it. No, the reason that most people, including the highest level people, didn't finish it was a lot down to the fact that the costs on this event were so incredibly high. That's the reason that the event failed. Like, so many people missed out on getting the Castle Dragon when this event was released the first time, and now you've just given it to us again with some new dragons, not even a fresh coat of paint. I actually think this is the worst 
event that has ever been released in DML. Full stop. By far. You can say the Bludgeon Dragon event was bad. You can say the original Castle event was bad. You can say the Dragon's Delight events are bad. But the only thing worse than a bad event is a bad event given to us a second time and pretending like it's a new thing. This isn't acceptable. Why would I bother doing an event I've already done? I really, really don't get this decision. I really, really don't get it. When they said, we're going back to the old castle event style, I didn't think that meant we're literally using the same map and everything from the original. I assumed at least something would be different. Well, I guess I was wrong. I suppose I had too much faith this time. But honestly, this just feels like a huge slap in the face to players, to be completely honest with you. And we've already seen the requirements for the last levels because we already know the map. We already know what elements are allowed. So I am not bothering to do this event, personally. I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna do it on PC at the very least. I might at least try and get the engine dragon on Android. If I manage to make the time, maybe we'll make it, but to be honest, I, I don't think there's any contestion. If you're going to give us an event that a grand majority of players failed, I don't see why you would give the same event to us again when we have a brand new Drang of the Week coming out and we also have the Chain Breeding event going on at the same time, which I still haven't bred the Chemistry Dragon even with two Breeding Dens, so... We also have to do the castle event while all of these multiple special breeds are ongoing. And we've got weekend events ongoing at the same time as well. So, to be honest, this is harder than the others. Because if you want any of the dragons of the week or anything else, well, you're going to end up risking your chances at completing the event. Oh, and don't forget that if you don't get lucky on the chess quickly enough, you're just not going to finish the event anyway, because you'll be severely behind. I don't know, I, I think this, if anything, would be the thing to make me quit the game. To be completely honest, I just don't think there's an excuse for this. I think Gameloft this time have really, really let down everybody. Severely. And that is my honest opinion on this event. You may agree, you may disagree, you may love it, but I just think it's an absolute disgrace. Just look at the elements allowed on the later tiers of the event. Again, this is from the original castle event, so there's not a 100% guarantee it's going to be the same, but assuming it is the exact same map as we've seen for every other level so far, I imagine this is going to be the same. So, metal, water, plant, water, earth, they're all one element fights only. And it's not the fact that I can't do this on PC is why I'm annoyed, because I can do it on Android. The point is, an event, we've learnt that the event shouldn't be done like this. That's why every other event since the original has increased the amount of allowed elements. Why have we regressed again? It's such a stupid thing. You make improvements on an event for a reason. It was deducted that the original castle event wasn't good, so we changed it. And Gameloft, well, we ourselves and Gameloft changed it for us. After feedback, after seeing how it went, and now they've just given us the original again. It's like giving us your worst product just for the sake of it and thinking that we'll be fine with it. It's not fine. I don't get this decision at all. And if you look at the minimum dice and maximum dice costs on this event, you could go 21,000. Yeah, well, that's not too bad for the final tier. But we're having to do this based on RNG of moving up onto the next level. So if you don't move onto the next levels quickly enough, you are not going to have barely anywhere near enough to move up on these levels. And if you can't do any 
of the fight, the amount that it's going to cost you is going to be a lot closer to that 85,000 sort of thing. It'll probably be around 60,000 if you can't do a couple of the fights. So, realistically, even if you log in every single reset, if you just get unlucky in this event, you cannot do it. You cannot do it. And that's so, so bad. An event should never, ever be entirely down to RNG as to whether you finish it. Especially an event that's 10 days long and takes 10 days to finish. We basically have no leeway. If you missed resets during this event and you are lacking any amount of the elements that you need, so say you're lacking earth, or you're lacking metal, or you're lacking wind, and you get slightly unlucky, you're not going to do this event. It's as simple as that. You're not going to do it. So what's the grand takeaway from this whole video? Basically, don't feel too bad if you can't do this event, and don't feel bad for feeling like you've been almost schemazzed in some way with this event, because I don't think just giving the same old broken product from two years ago is an acceptable thing. And I've already seen a lot of other people and spoken to others that agree that this just seems like the laziest event we have ever had. But, you know, enjoy it as much as you can. If you're someone that likes a challenge, I guess this would be the perfect event for you. But for now, thank you for watching and um, try your best.